Oh God. Hi. What's up? Yeah, so I'm obviously back from Cork for Christmas. So, and we are moving in a week, which I will talk about in a little while. Hence the title of this video. So I need to unpack this and I need to unpack of a bigger bag on the ground. Like, look at all this shit I brought home. Because I thought, I did go out. I didn't obviously go out that much because the way things were. But like, I was home for a week. I brought four packets of press-on nails. I do love these kiss nails and I will wear them at some other point. But like, to where? To whomst? For whomst? I brought loads of stuff home. I'm going to unpack and we're just going to chat for a second because there's things to talk about and I need to get stuff done so hopefully this won't be too noisy I'm going to put these over in the drawer and then I'm, we're going to start on the clothes onto the folding portion I'm going to start this book next I didn't get a chance to read it at home it's Doug McGuire's Jamie O'Connell it came out a while ago very good reviews okay this is empty oh actually flip it oops now onto the clothes I got some clothes secondhand from some hand-me-downs for my sister including this black like gym top that I'm wearing and this grey blazer no idea where it's from I'm probably not gonna put music over this I don't know maybe I'll put music over at the bits where it's like loud or I'm actually doing things but probably not where I'm chatting let me know what people prefer because I don't know I feel like these videos is really hard like I really want to do them and I do enjoy them but what the fuck do you say how the fuck do you do anything before we get into the moving I suppose the elephant in the room well, it's like, it's not an elephant for me, right? Um, because I am very at peace with my decision. Was an overnight decision. No, it probably seems like it. Um, and it's been a couple of months now or whatever. Um, but bandwagons. I was getting really bogged down because people were, like, kept asking me about it. And I don't know if it was just a case of they hadn't seen. They didn't understand. They weren't really happy with the explanation I gave or whatever. A multitude of things and I suppose I was being a bit naive in that it's normal for people to kind of to want an explanation and I think the majority want an explanation for no other reason other than they liked the podcast whatever they were a bit confused but I just found especially in the lead up to Christmas this is actually already folded well not folded but rolled in the lead up to Christmas I found that I don't know I just I really felt like people were not satisfied with what I said or were kind of looking for more information when there wasn't there isn't anything from my side so just to say again I stopped doing bandwagons because I didn't want to do it anymore I know that might seem deranged to some people and I'm at a point now where I don't care because it's not deranged to me um, and it's a decision that absolutely makes sense for me um and yeah it had nothing to do with breed it had nothing to do with chain and um, breed is a new podcast it's called oh baby look it up on patreon please subscribe i just yeah time and everything and work i had to i had to make a call and you know what the right calls are more often than not always the really difficult ones so and i would like it's not a subject that i also like talking about which is kind of also way i've been avoiding it as well but I understand that's not fair. And again, I will say it's a very, very small minority who are looking for dirt or whatever, or kind of looking to stir things up. Never say never to doing a, podcast, a different podcast ever again, but that's not in my short term future right now. That's not why I didn't stop to start something else. Um, Because that would just be, you're filling one hole with kind of the same thing. I didn't mean not to be an innuendo, but Hopefully you get what I mean. Like it's, I wasn't, I'm not looking to replace something with another thing like that. I just, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that answers people's questions. I'm just going to link this video anytime anyone asks now. Yeah, and I hope that, I hope you understand more my perspective. Maybe you don't. Again, as I said, I've made my peace if people don't understand. There's nothing else I can say or do at this point. Speaking of the stress of next year, which is why, <laughs> what if, it's one of the reasons and it's not one of the reasons but as I said like I think next year is probably going to be even busier for work um and also um we are moving again um this is our this is my I moved 
let me compute. So I moved, I was about to say during the first pandemic, it's still all the one pandemic girl. I moved September 2020 with my housemates. I moved out of there, or I think it was actually October. Moved to the, at the house with them the, in, yeah, sorry, moved out of that house, I should say, with Kian in September 2021 to here. And um, the rental market was so bad, we only got a short term lease kind of through. It wasn't a friend of a friend because they're not our friends, but it was like just pure chance, basically. Um, it was, they don't usually rent out this property. Like it's not a rental property. They were just like, yeah, look, if you're really stuck, you can have it for a couple of months, whatever. Um, and the time has come now. We kind of thought we might get longer out of it, but we're not going to, which is fine. Because we had kind of said that we are going to, so we're going to apply for a mortgage in the new year. I am recording this New Year's Eve. I don't know when this is going out, so this could be, I'm going to hope to get it out like ASAP. Yeah, so it didn't really matter much to us anyways. We were going to apply for mortgage and plan was I would move to Cork and commute and go between my house and Kane's parents' house and Kane would obviously move home. We basically made a call that we weren't going to rent again in the meantime because it's so expensive and I didn't want to get stuck with, like, there's very few long-term leases if you're just looking for two people. We're both still working from home. We wanted somewhere comfortable. And it was just too hard. We, it was too hard the last time. I said, I'm not taking somewhere that's a crazy amount of money if we're supposed to be saving for a house and that's the long-term goal. We have gotten a house through a friend of a friend um, and we will have that for a little while this year while we're figuring stuff out. And listen, we're under no illusions. We're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna be sorted within six months in terms of buy, actually buying a house. Um, but it gives us a little bit more wiggle room as we look up in Dublin to buy. Um, and we're also, well, I actually I won't speak for Kian. Actually, I think these are dirty. I won't speak for Kian, but if we don't buy this year, I'm not like, excuse me, I'm not, uh, I'm not too pushed. I would love to be able to buy this year, but like the market is terrible. It's gonna be terrible for a while. Um, I was just saying we may as well just have a bash and see. Um, and we are in an extremely lucky position that like we both have separate homes that we can move home to like neither of us are facing homelessness which i think is a big thing that i need to keep remembering when things get hard which they probably will um so yeah that's kind of why i'm like easy breezy about it i'm probably not going to share that much about it because i don't know what else needs to be said the housing market is terrible lots of other people are looking yeah i don't know i also just don't know like it's not i'm not a big housey like interior person i don't give a well, I was about to say, I don't give a fuck what it looks like on the inside. That's clearly a lie. I do. But I'm not, I'm not a Pinterest. I can't really, the decorating thing doesn't come easily to me. I think Kian would be better at that. But, and then there's also just like a privacy thing. I'm just not really, if you don't need to know, why would I share, you know? But then it's also like good news and you want to be able to share that with, because fuck knows, I wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be in a position to even be considering this. Did I not have supplementary income which i've gotten as a result of being on the internet kill me with a shovel so yeah any reasonable questions about that let me know and i will do my best to answer them i might not go any further than this with the clothes because all this corner is just cat hair i don't really know if i have anything else to update on in terms of my life i think i've gotten everything off my chest i fucking hate new year's as i said i'm recording this on new year's um, I like New Year's Day because it's when Kian's anniversary um, and it, we're going into a better year for us personally. I know a lot of other people can't say that, so I'm very lucky for that. And overall, a um, lot of pits, but I, a lot of peaks as well when I look back on the year um, in terms of resolutions. Um, no, it's up to the circumstances to change now. Circumstances. That would have been good. That would have been a funny joke if I'd said it correctly. No, I don't really have any. Read a bit more. Mine are just loose. Mine are read a bit more. Stay active. Cause I'm in very good shape, but I'm not keeping up uh, the personal training in the new year with the the old going f going to try and buy a house. And what there was another thing I would like to do this more consistently, but I think if I put any pressure on myself, I'll start crying and I won't do it. So, but this is video number two in a week ish. So, go me. And I have some other like funny, funnier. Because <laughs> I doubt this is funny like comedy based content coming so yeah i do i have lots of ideas it's just actively actually doing them 
you know that's it and just to stay healthy and stay alive would be great the start of the year is never a great time for me mentally but we always get there in the end don't we and all i can hope for is the same for you to be honest and um, i'm gonna keep going with this because i think i may need to bring this off the bed now as i said with the cat hair situation thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you again soon bye